Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Datula with another new video. As we have started CSI SAFE 2016 tutorial series and almost we have completed 16 lecture and uh, there we have discussed about different type of slab design okay and also we have defined that how we will define our properties perfectly and from that lecture I am just going to show that and I am just uh, I mean I, I will design isolated footing in that lecture and I will show that how we will design that how will define property for it and also how we will find out its detailing so let's uh, start and before uh, starting if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel because this is the channel for you is club civil engineering and also press the bell icon for the next update so first of all we have to open our software CSSF 2016 and if you new here you can watch our previous video and also if you need to download that software then that link are also given in description also you can download uh, original version also you can buy I have also shown that how we'll, how, we, how we can buy that software and also you can use the free version so first of all actually uh, I have discussed everything in my previous lecture that how we'll define materials how we'll create a new model but uh, I'm just going to start from basic for uh, slab uh, footing design for first video and for next different types of footing design I'll just go from my previous lecture okay so first of all I'll click here open new model and from here we'll select our uh, design code according to design code you can select from here what design code you prefer and here I'll select my favorite design code ACI 31814 from here then design preferences from here we'll change it for design preferences and here the code this is the code we have selected and this is the resistance factor okay this is resistance factor and I will recommend that please uh, do not change anything here because uh, this is as per ACI code okay this value is as per ACI code now we'll go for minimum cover for slab as we are uh, designing foundation then we will just change that value okay non pre-stressed reinforcement as we are uh, designing the non pre-stressed concrete slab then we will just give it that uh, value actually uh, before defining that value I will just go back I will cancel that and uh, first I will change that unit system okay so from here i will just click here modify and i'll select matrix default okay i'll select matrix then okay after that i'll go here design preferences and from it's okay and clear cover this is in millimeter okay so i'll just change that our uh, value i'll give it 75 for foundation 75 okay and our bar size what will the bar size actually Oh, here I'll consider first of all I'll consider our bar size is 12 okay 12 mm bar and uh, our slab type is 2 slab then here also you can see the clear cover for beams at as we are not working for beam then we'll not consider that okay so click ok after that also you can give a project information here uh, you can uh, data what you required when it will work for a real project then you have to give that data and from detailing it will automatically uh, take that uh, engineer name, checker name, supervisor name, or comp uh, client name, etc. So I'll just press OK. Now they have two options to select your single footing or isolated footing. So by clicking here directly, by clicking here, you can uh, design your single footing. So I'll just uh, show you that in later. First of all, I will click here blank and I will start. In I mean uh, I'll just uh, start it from beginning so I'll just click here now first of all we'll go for defining our materials okay first of all I'll go for define then the uh, materials properties from here I'll go for defining materials property then mm, uh, click here add new materials okay so this is uh, sorry I'll just click here add new materials okay so this is the new materials and from here 
this is concrete or FC F prime C and I'll consider this is 24 mega Pascal okay I'll just consider that is 24 mega Pascal and from a material types it's concrete and from here you can uh, change that color and from here here we have to give her a uh, Newton per millimeter square or mega Pascal that is same it is uh, 24 okay 24 mega Pascal right now we have to give her our uh, modulus of elasticity so how we'll just calculate that modulus of elasticity to calculate that modulus of elasticity just uh, sorry here our uh, equation for modulus of elasticity actually it's not clear so here as per ACI code for modulus of elasticity okay when our uh, f supreme value is in mega pascal then we have to multiply i mean we have to use that option 4700 into root over fc prime okay so i'll just use that i will open a calculator so from here our uh, 24 root this is that value into 4700 equal to so this is our value uh, 23025 okay 23025 so i'll just input that value two three zero two five right oh sorry here that is our value two three zero two five this is our modulus of elasticity i'll close that i'll just close that now we have defined successfully our modulus of elasticity of it now i'll uh, go here okay right so after that again add new properties here fy okay uh, this is uh, suppose our bar is 500 megapascal TMT bar okay FI so it will be uh, this is a river this is a river and actually here you have to give the I'll just use that uh, materials type like that so here I'll give a minimum yield strength okay minimum yield strength FI so what will be the minimum of yield strength actually so the minimum yield strength will be 500 500 Newton uh, I mean 500 mega Pascal okay and here uh, I'll just uh, give here suppose 60 600 mega Pascal this is the maximum tensile strength okay this is maximum tensile strength and actually you will get that value from a uh, river test and you have to input that value here now press ok so we have defined our mat uh, materials properties then press ok now we'll go for define our slab properties so uh, for slab properties we have to click here add new properties and uh, here actually we'll just give her footing footing ok uh, 300 mm I'll just first of all consider I will uh, I'll just consider 250 mm thickness from here I'll select footing and I'll just give her three two five zero mm right now I will just uh, suppose here our thick plate our plate is thick but when we have um, I mean when our uh, foundation is not uniform then we'll use that option okay so we'll uh, change that uh, data but our uh, now we're considering that our foundation is uniform and thickness of foundation is uniform so I'll just click OK now again I will just uh, draw our column step okay so from here column stiff and from here I'll select stiff and I will also consider that 250 right now click sorry I'm extremely sorry we have to select materials here from 24 megapascal okay and also for it we have to modify that and we have to give it materials property for 24 megapascal I'm sorry for my mistake so after that we'll press ok so we have defined our wall materials properties and uh, for uh, designing our slab there have no requirement for any other materials properties now we'll go for our soil properties so from here 
this is the soil subgrade subgrade properties so actually here soil subgrade properties okay so soil subgrade one i'll just modify that uh, here i'll give a bearing capacity okay bc now here uh subgrade mod uh, subgrade modulus okay subgrade modulus compression only so here you are seeing that it's showing us our value for kilo newton per meter cube okay weight per volume actually what is that subgrade modulus what is actually we know about our bearing capacity but what is subgrade modulus actually subgrade modulus is the modified subgrade modulus is the modified value of soil bearing capacity okay so subgrade uh, soil subgrade modulus soil subgrade modulus equal to k equal to pressure by deformation okay pressure by deformation here pressure means allowable bearing pressure and deformation means allowable settlement in deformation okay now here if we uh, consider that our allowable bearing pressure is 200 okay our allowable pressure bearing pressure is 200 kilopascal and allowable settlement and actually we know that uh, as per SA code our allowable settlement for our foundation is 25 mm okay 25 millimeter for isolated footing so here and so actually what will be our soil subgrade mod uh, modulus here k equal to our value is 200 200 divided by 25 this is 200 is the pressure i mean uh, pressure and deformation 25 and we have to divide that uh, value by uh, 1000 to convert it millimeter to meter okay then what will be the value actually 8000 kilo newton per meter square sorry uh, meter cube okay so this is the value this is the value for our allowable bearing pressure or allowable subgrade modulus and actually uh, your value can be different so you can change that value in different way so I'll just close that and I will use here 8000 right if I also check that yes 8000 kilopascal per meter and uh, we'll just after a design we'll check that okay our uh, the pressure under footing it should be 200 i mean 200 kilopascal and our deformation would mm, should be maximum 25 millimeter now i'll just close that then uh, it should be compression only then i'll press ok and then ok so we have successfully defined our wall materials and uh, what materials and subgrade properties that are required we have defined successfully in our next video i'll just go for draw our model and design it so if you think that that is helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and also if you think that this channel is helpful for you then like our video share our video with your engineer friend and also leave a comment your own like and your own comment inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video